So this is uh, this this at the moment. It's Phonic FM. It's still Phonic FM. I think we should mention that. Uh, one hundred and six point eight. One hundred six point eight uh, FM. And we did we didn't interrupt that because it was all making sense. Yeah, it's to us. And uh, we hope we hope the audience put put up with it at that length. And I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, it was so. So, John, what what which bits made most sense? Do you reckon? Well, he seems very content on on certain parts. My way of thinking. Um, anything. I I agree with it, and I don't agree with it. Hmm. I think sometimes it would be good. He's on about uh, um, lectures being delivered online. It's 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 very well. It's got his it's got his good points, but I uh, I think sometimes it's still good to have that human um, interaction. Yeah, yeah. With with a, with a with. with with it, with it, with with a tutor as per se, but yeah, I I, I don't know, I don't know, because I think some people might argue with him there a little bit. Yeah, so for example, you were also saying if we it, when we go to bed, will we get a chance to talk to him? Yes, I would like to. I would like to interview the guy. There's some questions, that are difficult questions, that I would like to put to him. Yeah, and. Uh, um, I'm quite good at asking difficult questions, aren't I? Well, you are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and and if we if we could get into a face to face situation, it would be wonderful. We could we could talk more. Yes. But I I, I should just point out I don't think he'll say exactly the same thing when he gets to bet because he was talking to a, a venture capitalist um, sort of audience there, talking yeah. about the billion dollar hit that they're all looking for and so forth. So so if he's if he's addressing an educational audience how much did he, he might put it slightly differently how much did he, how much did he pay for his <laughs> well the, the the cost of of, of education <laughs> fees in the states it did seem rather a lot didn't it Two hundred thousand. well i don't know if you've got a lot of grandchildren it must be very worrying <laughs> he, he paid for the meat <laughs> no what he said was uh it was all a bit um convincing him that there must be a cheaper way which is all, all for in fact i mean Broadly, it seemed to me quite interesting. <coughs> he didn't. He didn't expect schools to change just because it, they had their own decision-making process that was going to make them change. Mm. He thought the students had different expectations because they'd got used to social media and gadgets already, and the people who were paying for the education wanted to save money. Yes, and those are the main drivers. If there is going to be any change in mm. schools, is that that's roughly what he was saying? That's roughly what you were saying. Yeah. So um, that's quite that's quite interesting. Mm. Um, I know I know some people who study e-learning or network learning or whatever they're calling it um, don't really accept Apple as a, as a model because they they see it as um, too too business orientated. There's other ways of describing it, but that's that's basically what it is. Well, yeah. Because yeah. if there's a, if there's research going on, academic research, um, they seem to want to start again in many ways. So if if Apple have come up, my my point of view is if 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 Apple have already studied uh, design of learner interfaces or user interfaces or whatever they however they describe it, you should at least have a look at it. Mm. Mm. And work out how that how that's going to go. Yeah, I mean. So I, I I do hope people will. I think a lot of people will be going to to bet with the same open mind that we're going. I'm it, going with a very open mind. You've got to go to these things with an open mind. I think. Anyway, John, how is you you we just to explain this show again, which which we we we're, we're getting back to. We we may come back to bet and social media and so forth but the basis of the show is that we, we've got a, we've got a very good studio we started at mm. we have John it's an excellent studio <laughs> yeah, yeah, although we wish to improve it's, it it's wonderful it's wonderful but any any donation would be very much obliged yes you can send us money you yeah. can say well that's to say you can you, send Phonic FM money you can send Phonic FM lovely money by uh, by, by checking by, the website by going to www.phonic.fm and there's this lovely uh, 
PayPal donation button on on the, on 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 the website here, and uh, any money you can stretch to would be. It would be good. Very because we 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 very well spent. Just in case. Well, we're obviously not going to win the raffle. The raff the raffle is intended to be a perfectly legitimate raffle. We <laughs> don't know which presenter or radio station is going to win the raffle and and have all the gadgets for the the fantastic studio that will follow the gadget show live in April. But meanwhile, this studio, just to explain, it's, we've got two it's... CD players. We've also got a cable which we plugged into an iPhone. And um, so, in theory, we could do the whole show from the iPhone, and the, the CD player is just a backup. Oh, yes, and we have, have YouTube as well. Yes, and I would just like to say, I have a new iPhone 6, and and this new lovely iPhone 6, William here, Will Pollard, the guy who is very active on Twitter, mm. um, he, he could never get his head around me typing in the uh, my, my, my um, security code. So he used to say, mm, there's gaps in between the... Uh, uh, but now, he, I think he's much more... I think he's more happy in that. Because <coughs> I can just initiate the phone with my finger. So this 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 cuts out much more pulls in the radio. Yes. Every time. Well, get get on with it, John. The the, the audience are very, okay. very impressed by this, but they'd like to hear some music. Okay, all right. Um, the first song I have coming up for you today is 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 Oli Mers uh, performing with uh, Demi Lovato. It's it's the it's the new one. It's available on iTunes and good other retail stores, uh, such such as the HMV and stores like that. So if you if you want to buy it, you can. Um, so here it is. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> 